Okay, so new products are great, but it's ultimately about turning that new capability into the strategy that will drive the business outcome that you need. And for many of you in the audience, that's all about time to market. If you're in a high growth or volatile industry like semiconductor, this is critical. And aside from uh, budgets, it's the most important factor affecting your test strategy. In a lot of cases, you either get the design win and are set, or you miss it and may have to wait years to compete again. So to talk about their approach to improving time to market as a market leader, please join me in welcoming from Analog Devices, Leo McHugh. <laughs> Welcome, Leo. Thanks, Luke. Good morning, everybody. OK, so most in the audience probably know Analog Devices as a leader in analog mixed signal and, and digital signal processing ICs, right? Yeah. For over 50 years, Analog Devices has been supplying analog ICs at the leading edge of performance. And with the recent acquisition of linear technology, we now have a number one or number two market position across all the analog product categories. And that's timely. A lot of our customers in many, many end market segments are looking for increased performance and looking for us to provide more of the overall solution. That's a very collaborative approach. Application insight, market understanding, and deep technical domain knowledge all required to develop impactful technology in anticipation of future customer demand. Set another way ahead of what's possible. Yeah, and we obviously benefit from the fruits of that labor and innovation as a customer of analog devices. The second generation vector signal transceiver that we announced last night week uses one of your new high-speed ADCs. Yeah, that high-speed ADC and high-speed DAX and many other recently released products all at the leading edge of the performance spectrum. But that's only one of the challenges. Getting that level of performance is, is great across one product. We must guarantee that all the products shipped reach and exceed those data sheet limits. And we need to do that while considering the efficiency and cost effectiveness of it too. National Instruments has been a supplier of instruments to analog devices for many years. We've developed a strong engineering collaboration that's so important as we develop new measurement methodologies. Yeah, we've talked about that collaboration a few times, actually, with this audience over the past, right? Yeah, it goes back many years. An early example is within our MEMS portfolio, where we decided to develop a new set of measurement methodologies. Within that portfolio, demand was significantly increasing. We decided to develop an in-house tester platform built using LabVIEW software and on the PXI platform. We were able to improve the efficiency and also reduce the footprint of that setup. That was 2009. In 2014, National Instruments introduced the STS series of production tester platforms, also on the PXI platform. We subsequently adopted that platform. And really, that platform gives us the ability to dynamically configure different setups. We can now use the latest PXI instruments to upgrade and configure as required. And that may well prove to be one of the enduring advantages of that platform. Because the future technology that we will deliver and the solutions that we'll provide, it's very hard to predict what composition of technologies is going to be encompassed in that. Yeah, we have been thrilled with the success you've been having. It is awesome to see. Can you comment a little bit on your approach to uh, improving time to market? Yeah. With the, with the PXI platform in our evaluation labs and also on the test production floor, that gives us potential in that area. Code reuse, evaluation sharing, and simplification of the correlation exercise can all help to reduce the test development effort and therefore reduce time to market. While the impact, business impact of that has yet to be proven, there is a team from NI and Analog Devices working together to try and realize that potential. Yeah, we are 100% on board with that. With the lab grade measurement quality and production grade throughput of uh, PXI, it's in a great position to help scale from characterization through to production tests, and we love having Analog Devices as a lead user. And I'm confident with that sort of strong collaboration, we're going to continue to improve performance, solve more of the customer's overall problem, and partner together with NI 
in solving those future challenges. That's great. Thank you very much, Leo. Thanks, Thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right.